Uh, as Trophy has been playing a lot of Tristana at the moment in uh, solo queue, of course, we know this guy really does like taking the Tristana into the Corky matchup, even though it has gotten worse. Um, he's still feeling like he's going to be able to get it done. Tristana and the Nidalee hasn't always been our favorite, but it's Gen G, so I guess we'll just deal with it. It also, I like having AoE damage when the Rakan is in play. Uh, Orcs always talks about this as well, but... Ah, Nasus. I need a moment. Because <laughs> um, I, I actually, I, I'm, I'm baffled. We've seen the Nasus specifically as a counter pick into the cannon. Possible and Peanut here towards the top side, seeing what he can get done. The hop is good, and Doran will have the Meganar available. Gets the wallop down as well as Keen. He might be able to flash it, but he does not go for it. Oh, two of these down. It looks like Peanut might be able to sneak one away though. Definitely good news into this Nidalee. Oh, six. Yeah, level six going to be gained here by Peanut and Canyon, realizing that he just has to get out of there. Spear not going to connect either, as Jovi could be solo killed, but the Buster Shot is going to keep him alive. And this might be one of those as Peanut still has his ult, still has Flash. Yep, Rocket's coming out. Zekka does not have a whole lot of mana, but he doesn't need it. Towards auto attack, still just going to flash on over. Stages yeah, in the game, which is where Genji has generally uh, done well as Doran. Yep, with it is already down on top of him. Fury of the Sand, so the King to tank up this turret, and he's going to grab some stacks for his trouble as well. He's, uh, we'll see Peanut. Oh, there's the Glacial Prison. The buffer is gorgeous. The flash is going to come out. They get everything out of oh. Trovi, but he does survive. As Lahens is like, I am here. Into him is... just suddenly being up like 20 CS. Because that has happened before. As Yeah. Um, yeah. Cull. Certainly good news, but he's going even with Anasis, and that often feels bad if you're not Anasis. As now Lahans could be in trouble. Speaking of feeling bad, he is going to be taken out here. Permafrost a little bit too powerful and from Harm Life Esports. Not exactly going to be very many Oblivion Orbs picked up, as now Canyon not quite finding the spear. As Trovi is taking a red buff, Peanut is going to move on to Vision. And I just don't know whether he wants to try and fight the Blade of the Ruin King, Trovi, right now, as Doran could be in trouble. Spear is going to go wide, but look at the Q damage. It is ridiculous, and Doran does hit the Mega Nar, but Canyon's still going to be able to pounce on top of him. Viper trying to fight this one out as the Fury of the Sands has already come through. The Keen is a monster. For it, like he was underneath his own inner with teammates in the vicinity. Yep, and like he even this, this... dodged the Spear. Yeah, this And had Flash. And, and, and his Narbar was almost up. Like, this feels like you should be fine. And then I think they make the right call to just like, no, no let's, let, let's not walk up to Keen. And this is going to continue like this. Going to get possibly caught out a little bit here. He is very tanky with the Frost Armor and the Aftershock as he looks for the Glacial Prison. Connects it here as they just blow up the hands. Just thinking about this. Look at the spikes on Anwa as well. Two item spike for Corky, two item spike. For this area as well. Yep, Spears is still coming in though. Keen is still very scary. Teleport to come down now for the Nar as Peanut. He's really low. That is going to be the steal away by Canyon. They're going to try and focus Keen, but I don't know whether that's a good idea as that's another kill. And now Chovy is flashing forward. Finds another reset. There's another one as a double comes in. 280 carries left remaining for Homolife Esports. That's, no that's not cool. You can't do that. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you put a Glacial Prison into Lahens. Ah, yeah, joke's on you, but now you've got Glacial Prison on cooldown. So we're going to ace you, steal the dragon, and get Baron off the back end of it. That's how that math works. Let's All see right, how I, this I, one works. So I got I to gotta take another look at this. One part of this is I think that Doran TPs in with the Mega Nar, but he's not actually able to influence the fight. So the, the dragon goes over. And then uh, Doran is alone in the pit. Pace okay. had a really good zoning. The bullet goal. time, yeah. Yeah, and, and no, they don't have any cooldowns left to stop him. And then, yeah, Chovy smells blood in the water and shows us... Uh, And Genji is going to do their very best to try and suffocate them out here as Keen's going to flash the Glacial Prison. Peanut is still looking for more, but taking so much damage 
from Pays. Lahenz and Trovi trying to get themselves over as Harm Alive, realizing uh -oh. this is not their angle to fight right now. And Gen G, based on this, just get free reign to head towards this mid lane, and they are just going to continue to try and zone them from the area. Canyon, Canyon. chasing the light out of there. And Genji, can they get even more? Is this just going to be an inhibitor turret going down already? The Rebel Brown power play already up to 2.3k as Kane Fury of the Sands comes out, and the Battle Dance has to be employed. Genji, they will be able to take down that turret. This was all because they moved on in when they didn't really have the ability to do so. Doran's going to go down as well. The inhibitor's taken out. Yeah, you're exactly right, Chronicle. Like, I don't think it matters which team you are. If Gen G gets like any sort of opportunity like this, this is the problem. It looks so much worse. There are a lot of other teams that would have won a skirmish around a dragon and been like, oh, cool, we have a dragon. But Genji are like, oh, we voted for Clear when he played Nasus, right? That time in Challenger, so yep. obviously we're going to do it here. Unfortunately, Morgan didn't win when he played it earlier in the season as Peanut's going to go down. That is going to be another kill over to Trovi as Viper takes so much damage. My god, Keen stands in the front. He does a ton of damage himself, but then he's got the artillery cannons Trovi. in the back line as Trovi's dancing forward. He'll find the reset on the jump is now Doran not going to hit Mega in time. The immediate explosion of both the Corky and the Nah. Two Yordles for the price of one when it comes to that ultimate. And this game is done and dusted. Gen G, our favorites for the final. And they are looking absolutely like that in game one of our final match of the season. There goes the Nexus. Gen G go up 1 0 in the series. あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、